Welcome back, everybody. News, new research is showing how a mother's brain can change after giving birth and during pregnancy. Yeah, that's right. And then for a few years after as well to explain how it happens and how it affects new moms. We have Andrea all tomorrow from Henry Ford Health. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We also have Theo. We saw him walk into studio and we're like, yeah. you got to be a part you of this, Theo. Us, Theo. Yeah, because Theo's the real reason sometimes moms can lose their memory anyway, right? It's exactly. his fault. Like, it's <laughs> a smile. It's a smile. <laughs> okay, so I remember during pregnancy, sorry to cut you off, that pregnancy brain was often blamed for forgetting to do things, just forgetting things in general, and it turns out that's real? Yes. So many people come to me and they tell me, you know, I'm having trouble finishing my sentences. I'm forgetful. I'm clumsy. Is this way my life is going to be? And we know that it happens during pregnancy and it can continue for a while in the postpartum period, but it does get better. Do you think there's been enough research in this area? You know, the research is very new and emerging. Yeah. So um, a recent study that was just published at the end of 2024 actually showed MRI brain changes in women during pregnancy I and read postpartum. I something about this, yeah. Yeah, and that's really interesting because so many people complain about this, but now we actually have the data to back it up showing mm. that the gray matter in our brain reduces during pregnancy and then starts to slowly come back to normal so during the postpartum. Because you're feeding all that knowledge down to the kids? Is that what's happening? You know, it actually, <laughs> the brain changes are thought to be very um, adaptive to motherhood and help oh. us to bond with our babies. You know, if there's, um, you know, moms, I know a lot of new moms put a lot of pressure on themselves. If they are feeling that pressure, maybe they're forgetting something yeah. or having that fog, what would your advice be to them? You know, I think sometimes utilizing the tools that we have, like calendars and reminders and setting alarms is super important for remembering important events or appointments um, and to take some of that pressure off of yourself and then making sure that you ask others for help too. Hmm. You had mentioned that usually around six months postpartum is when the memory starts to kick back in, but is there, you know, kind of a, a one end of the spectrum to the other? Sometimes it can last for two or three years? I think it's very dependent. The same way that pregnancy symptoms can vary from person to person, I think these brain fog symptoms can vary as well. For some people, it might not even be very noticeable, but for others, it might be something that kind of seems to impact their daily life a little bit more. What was it like for you when you were pregnant with Theo? Yeah, what a thing <laughs> Yeah. You know, I like, definitely <laughs> I definitely experienced brain frog. I remember several times being in um, prenatal appointments for other women at work and I would literally lose my train of thought mid sentence and I'd be like, I am so sorry, what were we talking about again? <laughs> but there's nothing medically that you can do to prevent that. There's no pill to to get rid of brain fog, is there? Right, not there's yet. not. Would you but... want to take one though? I don't know. I don't know. I'd be worried. Yeah, and that's probably why nothing has come about yet. Yeah. And also because we know that it is common and it is normal. Mm. Um, I think the times that we want to be cautious of are if it seems to be impacting your daily life so much that you're having trouble doing your normal activities mm. um, or if your family members are noticing that it's not just brain fog, you're seeming confused. Those mm. would be times that you'd want to reach out to your midwife or doctor. Theo, what's it like for you to listen to your mom? She's so smart. Is it kind of cool? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is today a big day? Yeah. What's going on today? You have the biggest opportunity in the world. You get you get to say something special to your mom on live TV. Yeah. Do you, you want to say a no? Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Theo. <laughs> and he did it all without any coaching at all. <laughs> That's what we're here on the sidelines for. Um, thank you so much for joining us today, especially on Mother's Day, waking up early. And thank you, Theo, for waking up early with us. Are thank you, you for having Mama us. Breakfast now. I don't know. Okay. He's like, the day is young. Yeah, whatever you, you want. See. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It's we're Mom's stopping day. at Coney Island on the way home. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we're going to check in with Shantae over in Birmingham.